Hello everyone, this is Amy. I'm from Hebei Gentimental Technology Limited Company. Our company located at the Vermesh of the, our company located the hometown of the Vermesh, Anping, Hebei Province. Our company has has a long history around 30 years and uh, our company provides research and uh, produce all kinds of the wear match fins such as the jingle bendy fins, chain link fins, temporary fins, tubular fins, high security fins, crowd control barrier, and so on. Our, um, thank you for your attention and today I will introduce our mainly product chain link fins to you. And the chain link fins also called the diamond wear match fins and the cyclone wear match fins because of the my shape like the diamond and the cyclone, so we call it diamond wear match fins. It's widely used in everywhere and every site, such as the industry, the factory, and the road road beside of the highway and the road V, and also have the also have the farm. And uh, today, I mainly introduce how to install the chain-link fence to you. Whereas the, the behind of mine, you can see there is a sample, the chain-link fabric, the chain-link fabric using the uh, flat bar and the tension, tension band connect the chain-link fence with the post. And there is a single arm and the horizontal tube and the sleeves and the barbed wire. Well, uh, the first I want to introduce the chain-link fence. There we can see we have the two surface treatment about the chain-link fence. This one is the hot, this one is galvanized and this one is the PVC coated. And the galvanized we have two levels. The first one is the hot deep galvanized and the zinc coating uh, about 40 to 60 gram per square meter and the second level is 200 gram per square meter. The different uh, zinc coating may have the different uh, foundation on the anti-rust and the where the meter we usually do is 2.0 millimeter and 2.5 millimeter and 3 millimeter and even 4 millimeter and the opening size we can do the 50 by 50 and the 60 by 60 uh, even have the 75 by 75 and we also have the longer mesh size like the 100 by 100 and some customer will size can you do even the bigger than the 100 millimeter yes we can do but we don't rec recommend because if the opening size is bigger and it couldn't prevent the small animals cross it and it don't have the good if effective and the Height and the height of the chain-link fence we usually do is 1.2 meter, 1.5 meter, 1.8 meter, 2.0, and even higher. And the length we usually do is 10 meter, 12 meter, and uh, 50 meter, even the two meters. Yes, uh, the longer size. We also can do, but the weight will be so heavy and the labor will be couldn't couldn't carry it. So we just rec recommend you the length is the 10, 12, and the 15, and the bigger is 20 meters. Well, after the wear mesh, you can uh, we will introduce the two the. The round post. The round post uh, we usually do the diameter is 48 millimeters and uh, 60 millimeters. And uh, even if if the if we, uh, if you using the challenge fence, make up a 
gate, a single gate or the double gate, even the selling gate and the post diameter, we, we can do the 80 and 100 millimeters. Well, there you can see we have three types of the uh, anti ring cap on the post. This one is the steel, and uh, this one have the space. We put it here, and you can see there is a little space on here. And this one, we can put it totally on the post. And the material is also different. This one is metal, and this two is plastic. Well, after the anti ring cap, and we will introduce the the a series is we call it uh, tension band. The tension band you can see there are two different. This one, this one, the this part is at the center of the of the clips, but this one, this part at the beside of the of the clip, and uh, they are different uh, lengths. And uh, this one. This one we call it ten tension band, and this one is foundation to using it connect the flat bar, connect the flat bar on the wire mesh to the post. And uh, next, I will show you how to use it. Okay, first there is a post and. Uh, the tension band will will th uh, will throw it, and uh, we will put the flat 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 bar on the wire mesh and uh, put it into the tension band, and uh, then. Using the screw, using the screw, through it and uh, fix. Like this. And then you can see the tension bar is using to connect the flat flat bar and the tailing wear connect with the post. But the uh, but the brace band it couldn't let me show you. And we first put the brace band on the post and put the tension bar into it. Well you can see there is a there is a hole. The screw couldn't uh, throw the hole and uh, fix it. So this brass band is not using for connect the flat bar with the post, but its foundation is connect the. There, there is a series. We call it ten. We call it uh, uh, tensor. It's using to connect the, the tension wire. This one is this this screw is connect the brace band into it, and uh, using the tension wire through the hole. There you can see there there you can see a thing, uh, a hole on the hinge, and the, the tension wire will throw it, and uh, we fix the wire and make the tension wire straight. It can put the uh, tailing fence at the same level. So, uh, and uh, the brace band also have another foundation is at at here and. Uh, the real tube should have the uh, should have a cap on the end of. If this is a corner post, and there should be have a, a cap at the end of the ring, uh, at the end of the 
real and uh, this this Tencent brand is to connect the cap using to connect the cap with the post to fix it okay there is a different with uh, the Tencent brand and the Brace brand where there you can see there are two different surface treatments this one is PVC coated and this one is hot deep galvanized so if you require the challenge fence is a PVC coated and uh, a series a series we also can do the PVC the same color about the uh, distance of the two tension tension band we usually do is uh, five is 500 millimeters between the two tension band if you uh, if you require the channel fence height is 1.8, there may be have four tension band on the post. Well, uh, you uh, as usually we don't have the base on the top on the end of the uh, post for the channel fence. But if your requirement, we can do it because we are per professional uh, and professional for the wear mesh fence, and we can. Uh, show you all the uh, answers for your reference, for your for your problems, for your questions. Okay, the so next uh, let me introduce the single arm. There is a single arm. You can see there are two different types of the single arm. This one, let me introduce one by one, and this one is. There is a hole on the top, and uh, this and this place is uh, put the put the arm on the post like this. And uh, this hole at the top hole is using to put the sleeve through it, and at the center of the single arm, and the sleeve is using to connect the two horizontal tube on the top of the challenge fence. And uh, uh, the if you said you don't want the uh, you don't want have the reason have the horizontal tube on the single arm is also okay. We have this type. We have this type with no hole on the single single arm and we just put put the arm on the post but you can see there is a nut at the behind of the single arm how to connect the single arm with the post we use the skills fix it maybe the skills is a little longer and then you can see it can it can't remove it. Of course, the single arm, the single arm surface treatment. This one is hot deep galvanized, and we also can do as the same color with the PVC channel fence. And about the the length of the single arm, we can offer the 400 millimeters, 450 millimeters, 500 millimeters, 550 millimeters, and even 60 millimeters. And we also can do the double arm. We also can do the double arm. And the single arm, we use it to connect the barbed wire with it. And some customers requirement using the double arm and uh, maybe they will require uh, require using the razor wire at the, at the top of the bub bubble wire okay next uh, let me introduce the uh, horizontal tube we call it reels the tube if the post of the size is 48 millimeters and the real the real size uh, the real diameter we recommend you 
is 32 millimeters and the thickness is 1.2 or 1.5 millimeters. Then I will show you how to uh, how to use the original through the through the single arm. Maybe it's bigger and uh, it couldn't through it. But you can see the sample. The real the real is through the single arm hole and uh, connect is the real foundation is make the chilink fabric as as the one level. It makes the uh, chilink fence is stable and uh, not flavorable. Well, about the real after the size and uh, after the diameter, let let uh, see the let's see the length of the reel. There you can see the two post uh, of the distance may be two meter or two point five meter, even three meter. Then there are two way to make the reel. The first one is make the reel size as the uh, post di distance and. Uh, Using this sleeve, connect the two poles, two real post, two real, two horizontal real, and uh, connect it on the same level. But we have the two types. The two types is the real size. The real length is almost uh, six meters. It's uh, it can reduce the uh, sleeve quantity and. Uh, Reduce the cost, but it uh, could uh, it not uh, uh, convenient for carry it. Well, there uh, there is a barbed wire on the top of the single arm. The barbed wire we also have two surface treatments. This one is the how deep ground nest and we also can do it uh, PVC coated and uh, we also can uh, put the reservoir on it and uh, the reservoir size we usually do is uh, BTO22 and the CBT, CBT size okay after the a series installation on the chilink fence well, there you can see there is a big row of the chilink wear mesh fence on the table. We, we can do reduce, we can do make it uh, as a small row and reduce the space in the container and then the loading quantity will be more. Some customer will have the uh, one problem if their project length not uh, not uh, uh, if the chilink wear mesh roll less uh, couldn't uh, if the one if one row of the chilink chilink wear mesh fence less couldn't uh, uh, fill his pro uh, his project less then I will show you how to solve the problem. If your pro project length is is so long and uh, our chilink fence couldn't couldn't fix it, there I will show you how to how to solve the problem. You can take another row of the chilink fence and uh, put the wire into the first row like this. You can turn it and twist and twist and okay. Okay, it's finished. At the top of the chilink wear mesh means you can put Put the, put the top, make, make it bending.
and then it will be fixed. Right? Okay. Okay, this is the first problem and we also have the customer size. If our project is so, so short and one row of the chaining fence is so long and then the I will show you how to solve this problem. You can put it down and turn it out like this. Slowly and smoothly. And okay. If one row you just uh, use the half and uh, you can take another half of the row using an, another part, it will be finished, right? Okay, about the chaining fence, we took the fabric and uh, the fabric surface treatment where diameter and the uh, specifications and also size the uh, flat bra and uh, the post and uh, the series. Well, I forgot one thing to introduce you. This is our flat bar. The flat bar are usually do the size is 20 the so width is 20 millimeters or 25 millimeters and the thickness about uh, 4 millimeter or 5 millimeters and the lines as you really do as the chaining fence lines and there you also can see the two different uh, series we call it the tensor the tensor foundation make the uh, if uh, if some quest, uh, if some customers require, they don't use the uh, horizontal tube on the top or on the bottom. Well, we uh, we also want to the telling fabric and the post at the same level and make the uh, make the telling fabric stable. Then we will put uh, we will put. We will suggest three lengths of the tension wire on the top and the middle and the bottom as the chaining fabric. Then we will using this one, this tool, this series we call it tensor. Connect the connect the post and the tensor wire, make the fabric stable and make them as one as one level. Well, you can see the, there are different surface treatment of the tensor. We can do the hot dip garnet and we also can do the PVC coated as the chaining fabric colors. Well, we talk about the PVC coated. Well, there I want to, there I want to tell you the post PVC coated different with the chaining fabric PVC coated because the chaining fabric we use is the PVC wear. The inner is electric galvanized wear and the thickness of the PVC wear is about 1.0 millimeter thickness of the PVC coated. But the post thickness of the PVC coated may be 0 0.1 millimeters. So they are, uh, although they have, they all called PVC coated, but there is a different. About the sleeves, there you can see, there is a special shape on the center of the sleeve. This sleeve can make the two 
horizontal tube. The horizontal tube comes through, comes through it. So this sleeve is to connect the two horizontal tube at this side and this side. Okay, there is a special clips. I will, I will show you how to use it. If where uh, you can see on our sample, we we all use the tension brand and the brace brand connect the chain link fabric with the post. But uh, this side, if you also want to install another fab chain link fabric, then you should be you should use another. You should another tension brand like this, right? But if if you use this clips, I will show you. If you use this clips, then it will reduce the cost of on the uh, series. Wait a second, I will show you. Put the flat bar and the tailing wear mesh vents in it and using the screw, fix it. And this side, you we also can put it Put another side of the tailing wear mesh vents here. Like this one and then we will save the cost of the tension band. Okay, like this. I just uh, show you and uh, for your reference, this is the foundation of the clips. Okay, and here we have been finished all the uh, series how to using it on the chain fence. And uh, next we will talk about the packing. The chain fence and the post all can build in the container. It, can, it won't waste any space. Sure, if you want to easy for loading and unloading, we also can pack them on the pilot and uh, it's, it's easy for reduce the labor cost and also easy for loading and unloading. Well, that's all the ins installation and about uh, the chain fence. And uh, thank you for your attention. This is Amy from Hebei Gentimental Technology Limited Company. We have Around uh, we have a long history around 13 years. Our mainly product is uh, triangle bending fence, temporary fence, chain link fence, high security fence, tubular fence, crowd control barriers. And if we want to know more information about our company or um, our products, you can click the link on the bottom and know more information. We, view, uh, we believe we are the professional on the wear mesh, wear mesh fence. We can solve all the problems if you, if you met it. Okay, thank you for your watching our live channel. That's all. Thank you. Bye-bye.